now. That's much better. Alright, so on the blue rooftop is a man who will give me a heart piece. And there is a way to cheat your way up there. I'm only gonna try this once though, so if I don't get it now, I'm not getting it until after the water temple. I'm forced to whichever one. Ooh, I am not looking forward to the water temple though. Oh, I didn't make it. Because if you're a Zelda fan at all, you know the water temple in this game is dang near impossible. It's horrible. It'll probably take like six recording sessions which are an hour and a half and I'll probably die not in the game but in real life oh no my cuckoos are falling away we are going to help this lady find all her chickens you know the chickens that um failed to maul me last time when I uh Turned one of their kind into a rocket. That was fun. Alright, so we are gonna take this chicken to her. I think there's seven chickens. I can't remember, but spoils for doing it are great. All the chickens, and I think I remember where they all are, so we should be good. Alright, and with this, you do not want to jump right over to the other. Blech. You do not want to throw him into the pen. You want to use him to jump to the other side. Over here. Fly, chicken, fly. Alright. I'll put you in your pen. Oh, no more. These chickens can fly so well, she shouldn't have one. In such a low pen. Why does she have that horrified look? get all of these. I, I, don't, I, I usually don't do this, I don't think. I don't know why I would, but I don't. Right, this isn't where you jump from. There it is, as you can see, another chicken. They, s they stay in the same general area that you threw them in. chicken, throw him over that fence, ah. get this chicken, throw him over the same fence, and I should not have used Dr. Pepper in this recording, because after I have some, it makes my mouth feel kind of sticky. Soon we will be going to the third dungeon. We will wreak havoc on the souls inhabited.
over there. I think there's another one over there. Unless this is the same one. I don't know. Let's see. This way. This is the wrong way, isn't it? It is. Wow. Could just look the other way and I didn't know. Always look both ways when crossing the street, kids. Okay, so there's another one over there. Alright, so. I think he's, he's stayed put well enough that he will be right over here. But no, where is. Where is that chicken? Are there two by the entrance? Or Sounds like maybe. It's getting louder. Doesn't seem like it. All right, no. Uh. Uh, huh. Well, looks like we have misplaced a chicken. So that's a problem. Don't know where he could be. Well, kids. Do you see a chicken? El Pollo? I don't. It's not in plain sight this time, is it? No. Now these chickens, they're pretty hard to find. The hardest part is chasing them down. You have to be real quiet. Wait for them to find you. This will take the majority of your life. But you will have your chickens. Uh. Just think, what would... What would Bear Grylls do? He was hungry. And this chicken was hiding from him. He'd just drink his own pee, but where where is this chicken? Need to find it. Alright, chicken. Where are you hiding? Was there another one over there? Alright, I'm gonna go check over there again then. Okay, let's go, chicken friend. Now my 
dog is over here making a lot of noise. He's scaring the chickens away. Now, when I was finding chickens in the Amazon, I discovered that an Australian accent attracts the chickens. It's part of their mating ritual. Now, maybe I'm an idiot and just hide in this box. As you can tell, I'm like, hey, Kaiser, go away. That's my dog. Um, as you can tell, I am horrible at maintaining an Australian accent. More than like six seconds, and I start going southern. Like, what? Oh, I remember where it was. Okay. An Australian accent really gets the brain moving. Let's go, my chicken minion. We really haven't gotten anything accomplished in these these two episodes. And since I am about to actually accomplish something, see you next time. Let's play Ocarina of Time.